Hello, everyone. I'm Iva. I am Paula. We're from the Playful Future Lab. Due to the conflicting schedule, Marta won't be here today, but she's immensely supporting us. We're so honored to be a part of the Connected Learning Summit 2022 and to present our work using paper circuits in elementary schools to promote understanding of sustainable community through STEAM activities. So over the last 10 years, European countries have been concerned about the mismatch between demand and supply for qualified science, technology engineer, and maths professionals in Europe, especially to promote the development of STEAM careers among women that have been underrepresented in the field increasingly technological depend business process and research and innovation driving economies have a consequent impact on the need for personnel with high level of skills in these areas. Canary Islands, which is an ultra peripheral region within the European Union and an autonomous region of Spain compromising seven islands grouped as two provinces. There has been a dramatic economic scenario for the Canary Islands in the post coronavirus period, stating that the island's economy will no longer be the same as before and that an unemployment rate up to 50% may be anticipated. Reason for the uh, such pessimism is that the economy of the island is largely monostructured and mainly depending on tourism, whereas in the past the maximization of incoming tourist flows was just the key instrument for the economic growth and well-being. In the future, a more diversified business structure is required. Hence, STEAM education is necessary for children who are growing up in this island to be exposed to a variety of career options and understand the development of SDG that are also linked to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Every year, the Canadian Agency for Research, Innovation and Information Society celebrate Las Semanas de la Ciencia y la Innovación en Canarias that is a full program of free activities in person and online for all the island to promote the science and technology in the island. The scientific technological dissemination event was aimed at Canada citizens in general with activities for family, teachers, students, the specialist public, companies, and entrepreneurs. The author of this paper as an expert on STEAM education, having participated since 2015, proposing and running different activities for school teachers and their teachers to promote maker-based education in the islands in order to advocate participants to be aware of scientific technological professions. As a part of the 16th edition of this event, the authors proposed the online maker challenge, light up your idea for sustainable islands to promote sustainability awareness in an island context. The program was adjusted to the new COVID-19 reality and combined the online face-to-face -face format in safe environments that comply with the health standards. This study analyzed the result of this activity, which participate a total of 1,026 school children for Fuenteventura and Lanzarote in Spain, ranging in this from 9 to 12, from the 4th to 6th grade, took part in a maker challenge to learn and share ideas for a more sustainable island in public school on both islands to learn about the importance of preserving habitat as Spain biosphere reserved for their beauty and nature. Nowadays, the development of the so-called 21 century skills is one of the key objectives that the education system must achieve through the world. So that citizens as a whole can adapt adequately to the labor market and in general to the future society. These skills could be acquired through a STEAM education that provides students with opportunities to succeed in a school and below. STEAM education is one of the most impressive educational movement in recent years and is an approach to learning that use science, technology, engineer, the arts and mathematics. STEAM education has been influenced by maker education that also is a new type of educational practice which aims to foster creativity. In this aspect, the educational administration of Spain since a few years ago have a commitment to play a crucial role to promote the SDGs 2030 
and the education for sustainable development. For that reason, maker-based STEM activities are becoming important as a school and teacher in Spain have actively participated in this transformation. Future that defines this new tendency in education is that since most of the challenge global issues require collaboration between STEAM disciplines, this interdisciplinary approach to learning can be used as one of the approaches of educational for sustainable development in achieving the sustainable development goals. Well, paper circuits, also known as soft circuits, have risen in popularity over the past few years as a result of the emergence of the maker movement. Several authors have pointed out that project-based learning in the context of paper circuits can be um, identified as a STEAM methodology that allows students to be engaged in meaningful maker projects. When we refer to paper circuits in education, we're referring to something as simple as making an electrical circuit work with a single LED and making it shine inside a pop-up card, but also to other types of more advanced projects that require programming and involve multiple sensors, sound, lights, and motion. Some authors argue that this maker-based STEAM activity not only favors access to the construction of digital media and learning electronics, but also favors the development of critical thinking. In this sense, various investigations conclude that the artistic components proposed by self-circuit activities are particularly appealing and accessible for new and diverse audiences to be interested in STEAM fields. Our study draws on three research questions. First, how much have students learned about sustainability as a result of the maker challenge? Second, what kinds of behaviors do students exhibit during the Zoom session, such as problem solving, collaboration, confusion, and so on? Thirdly, how do students perceive these activities supporting future career and equity on STEAM? 1,026 schooler children from Fuerteventura and Lanzarote in Spain, aged 9 to 12, from the 4th to 6th grade, participate in a maker challenge to learn and share ideas for more sustainable islands. Fuerteventura has 12 schools and Lanzarote has 10 centers. 526 Fuerteventura students and 500 Lanzarote students participate. A total of 22 educational connected centers were able to interact in real time and chat with each other during the challenge. To carry out this challenge, 1,026 paper circuit kits were created specifically for every kid won the island. You can download the template by clicking the button under the video. The purpose of these kits was to serve a tool for the participants to approach a better understanding of SDG 2030. Each student was given an individual kit to follow the COVID prevention guideline in the center where the students were not allowed to share materials. The kit included paper templates for students to draw. They were asked to reflect on SDG 2030 for five minutes and illustrate ideas so that the island could be more sustainable. They're encouraged to reflect on its importance and responsible use. Then the tinkering part started. The student learned about circuits and design and build basic circuits on a piece of paper. Paper circuits are great for introducing students to circuits because the materials are just simple. With copper tape, an LED, and a coin cell battery, students can assemble a circuit, learn about open and closed circuits, and make an LED light up. This part emphasized an awareness of sustainability through maker-based STEAM activities. Now we can see the teacher training. Before carrying out the challenge with the students, a session aimed at teacher was proposed to explain the activity over the Zoom. The purpose of the training was for them to learn how to create a circuit on paper. Also, this time was used fruitfully to discuss the SDG 2030 and to explain how important it is to integrate activities in the classroom in which students can reflect on the sustainable development goals.
On the Students' Challenge Day, the session started off with an introduction so they can understand what SDG is and why they need sustainable lifestyle in the islands. This shows an importance of recycling batteries. Now, the tinkering time starts, and there was time for students to share their work. You can see how they are all focus well on the tasks. Toward the end, they watched an animated clip and had a discussion about the overall activities. For this study, surveys were conducted and semi-structured interview with teachers after the student session. Teachers were overall highly satisfied with circuit activities, drawing content for students to connect to OSDGs 2030, the pre-training and the material of the kids. However, there were a few express neutral opinions about the student talent session and the Zoom experience. Well, most of the teachers responded that they extremely liked Light Up Your Idea for Sustainable Islands and believed students were highly motivated by the proposed activities. The majority of the students also observed students were extremely satisfied for their participation in the challenge. And most importantly, 100% of them emphasized on the importance of the pre-training session for teachers prior to teaching their students. So here are some key interviews from the teachers to share with you. First, we believe that this activity has been innovative and has made visible maker activities that many centers were not aware of. Second, for the activity to be more enriching, it would be ideal if the Zoom activities were with fewer classrooms and thus they can have the opportunity to do everything more calmly and interactively. The boys were overwhelmed at times and being able to solve their doubts with one person alone was a bit complicated. Even so, I'm very happy with the activity and the students too. Third, during the COVID pandemic phase, we're able to teach children aged nine to 12 STEAM online and through hands-on activities with the kids sent to the schools. And this activity was suitable for this age group. Fourth, we observed a high degree of satisfaction in the students who were attentive and success, successfully completed the tests. The results showed 100% of attendance rate and 100% completion of tests amongst attending students. As a key result, uh, we can conclude that the majority of students exhibit understanding of SDGs. 2030 goals, an emergence of sustainability in their islands in their drawings. At the end of the session, the students were able to discuss the island's water crisis and the significance of conserving energy in order to prove long-term sustainability. Other key result is the students became fully involved in the task. The students sought assistance for teachers when need. Also, they collaborate and mentored each other when peers around there were having difficulties with this circuit we did not observe any confusion among the students. The third key result is that regardless of the gender, the participants demonstrate their technical mastery by finishing their circuits correctly and so in their satisfaction. We'll say one of the fascinating moments we observed was that students were able to connect their day-to-day -day lives in the islands in their drawings to connect to the SDG sustainable ideas. As a discussion, uh, we can conclude that teacher at, as a guide during the activity. Also, drawing results so that activity was appropriate to develop critical thinking and creative thinking skills in students to reflect on understanding of sustainability in developing the island. Also, that paper circuit is an ideal starting tool for education to reflect on soft circuit activities to promote STEM in the classroom, allowing them to determine the significance of what each subject required. 
Also, we would like to say that this activity enhances the STEAM methodology, which has a series of advantages over other traditional methods used by traditional teachers. In the development of this activity, the participants feel intrinsically motivated to build the circuit with these atypical materials because this way they can design and create their own. So, as a conclusion, We'll say the study carried out using a cost-effective and large-scale Zoom workshop. This novel pedagogical strategy demonstrates the potential of paper circus activity to enhance creativity while learning electronics in elementary school settings. And students who were aware of the goal of exercises with the kids was to serve as a tool for participants to approach and better understand the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals 2030, which is called SDG 2030, we mentioned earlier, that is ratified by 193 countries in September 2015. And consistent with this activity enhances the STEAM methodology, which has a series of advantages over other traditional methods used by traditional teachers. In the development of this activity, the participants feel intrinsically motivated to build circuits with these atypical materials because this way they can design and create their own. As a future direction, we will avoid using batteries and try to incorporate solar or water energy in the kits. Also, uh, we will like uh, as an improvement uh, to form groups so students can collaborate work on their project together. Also install multiple videos in the classroom to analyze more accurately. And also as a future direction, we are planned to carry out a longer duration of a study. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.